welcome everybody to CCTV. We're in the Feast of Trumpets in that season. So hang on. I'm going to show some Doug footage. Welcome to the Feast of Trumpets. Here's Nibiru model for you. Just so you know. See you in a bit. Now in this model, we're looking at the Earth tilt right now because of the black star Nemesis, which is a unlit star. Um, but it does, you know, you can see it with an infrared. And as it moves around, you see how the Earth is being pulled by it? Okay. It, it swings around goes back out the other way. The bigger planet, the red one there, they're saying is Nibiru. But I think Nibiru is actually blue because it's a water planet. Anyways, that's the models I've learned. Now, up on the left there, you'll see where it says August. So we're in September. So, you know, strange colors, strange times. Just think about it. You know, it might be all making sense to me. And then, now this was what's kind of, you know, puts me in an alert when the Earth gets pulled off its course right there. It starts pulling down to the other orbit, which is not our orbit. And it's going to get really hot. You see there? And then the Nibiru is going to pass. Um, I think there's going to be an eclipse right there somewhere. All oh, hell's going to break loose. And all the satellites, they're gone. It's got to be dark when those satellites all break loose right there. So they're saying August, so we're still here in September. So maybe the timing's off a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to show you some stuff in the sky. And then I'm going to show you some weird Doug stuff. All right. Welcome to the Feast of Trumpets. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. Dyson listened while the Terminator laid it all down. Skynet, Judgment Day, the history of things to come. It's not every day that you find out you're responsible for three billion deaths. He took it pretty well. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Hydrogen bomb. Men like you thought it up. I think you're so creative.
Now, I'm going to go ahead and start looking at Doug's files. As you can see, I have quite a bit of them zipped up. So I'm going to start extracting them. I'll be right back. Well, here's just a few clips of Doug Skies. About 450 of them out of about 1,000. And that's just two months. So I'm just going through a fast scroll. And we're going to hit the filter, okay? So hang in there. You like my cool jazz piano? Forensic studio. You guys have been here. It's pretty trippy. Well, I hope you're enjoying the journey. Now we're in my filtering forensic studio. And what I do here is I just bring a lot of contrast, all right? I bring down the light, try to explain the abnormal looking clouds and like mythicity. Right there, just kind of overlaid it. See how I overlaid it? And you can see the greenish on the mythicity. And the other stuff that's around there, a lot of it, like that yellow with the whisper by the bottom of the, of the green planet, it's the OCG objects. They put so much lighting and they turn it up so high that, you know, it just obscures you from seeing what's really happening. So I'll be pointing out a couple of planets, a couple of purple ones coming up, and then uh, UFOs everywhere. Doug's got weird footage, weird footage up in Buffalo. His skies are exploding. He calls me sometimes. He's losing it. Um, see if I can find some of his voice clips. <laughs> he had a few things he says stuff on him. I'll see if I can find them. I like this picture when you when you uh, bring the light down and bring it up. It's like the flying tail dragon going through the air. Nemesis. It's Sunday. Hey guys, check it out. Um, I'm developing that intro, but this is some incredible looking debris and footage, um, UFO material, you know, a lot of it looks like rocks. You just comment, timestamp, thanks for coming, there you go, let the, let the show begin.
when you see this pinch right here on the sun, it has a cutoff. It, yeah, it, it's a, an eclipse of sorts, but it's just right here. It's the pinch. I call it the pinch. But the planets collide together and just pinch the sun out. Let me show you one. Come on, come on, come on. What is that thing? Skynet? Carrying off asteroids into the sun? Is it Skynet? Is it Skynet? I'm asking you, is it Skynet? Look at that. Now just imagine, just imagine if you didn't have anything, the super bright sun glare cutting your eyeballs up, right? And you could see really clear these asteroids floating through our sky. Look, I mean, you could see them like against the blue sky or the milky blue sky, right? It'd be terrifying. So maybe, just maybe, thinking about this, it's good they hide them, because it would be mass hysteria in the streets. Now, look at this.
scientifically, you figure it out. That's where I'm at. But this thing, we've seen it in Yukon. We've seen it in other areas of Alaska at least seven times. Probably got 12 videos on this stuff. And but this time, it's got a unique feature. I want to see if you can pick it out, timestamp it, and tell me what it is. It's square. I'll give you the hint. It's square. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hear you thinking. Tell me what it is on the left right there. Now it's going to get clear. And then I might just end this video so it's not too long. And uh, I got some other stuff to show you. Um, I think I might put a sunrise that's mind-blowing this morning. So um, this was 7, 10, 21. And today, who knows what day it is. 7, 11, 7, 12, I'm not sure. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Have a great weekend. Bye. So one more thing before we leave. I'll just tell you what it is. That right there is the same OCG asteroids and rocks with that tail of debris. And as I clean that up, you saw that red, those red, you know, asteroids. But uh, the question I got today is, God, Jesus, do you think I forgot about that, huh? I haven't. I'm just, my assignment's done, so when I do it now, it's just from the heart. See if you're ready for this incoming pole shift. It's happening. another thing too guys I have over I don't know 32,000 just still pictures and probably over 20,000 clips of the same stuff of five years getting bigger UFOs just like that and uh, the thing is I could be in Italy Alaska Antarctica Peru Brazil how do we get the same clouds for five years and I could actually show you six hours of same clouds all over the world but I give you a piece at a time anyways that's a ship right there Doug so Doug's telling me there's UFOs there's asteroids there's rocks he's freaking out so what I'm doing I'm trying to bring I can't even record they won't let me record nothing it's just you know whoops whoops yeah throwing it up you know a visual I can't even record. They won't let me record nothing. It's just, you know, looks. Of what Samuel Hoffman predicted 20 years ago. Now, if some of you guys don't like Samuel Hoffman. I don't care. It's not about Samuel Hoffman. It's about how does this guy get pictures 20 years ago of what we're going to see now? Could it be Blue Beam? I don't know. But I prayed, and the Lord said, no, what he's going to show you is going to happen. And uh, so that's why I trusted him. I trusted in the Lord. The Bible says, trust no man. So anyway, so I trusted in the Lord. And now I can pick out these rocks and asteroids like I'm showing you right now, those pink rocks. It's crazy, right? So don't be down on Samuel Hoffman. He's just a mailman. If you're the receiver of the mail and you see it happening, like uh, TX and Marshall, Texas. Oh, yeah. Tom sees it and he goes, Oh my God. See, that's OCG right there. They're making this stuff up. So, from that, this is all in, um, in Buffalo, New York. And that's the OCG right there. Just a whole cluster of it. And you see the dark cutouts of the circles. Those are planets. Now, Doug's giving you a little bit of. He brings the exposure down because he can't see nothing. And that's a white. I mean, that's a blue planet right there. Okay, and behind it maybe Zatu's moon, but the, the 
the overcast or the effect of these planets just cutting that off anyways that's all I wanted to say I'm not gone yet stay here I'm gonna show you some more
Well, I'm hoping you're enjoying this so far. It's not the end of the video, but it will be soon. And uh, I'm going to extend it about 15, 25 minutes out. Um, keep watching. Uh, I'll throw a few pictures on them. And I'll talk to you later next video. All right. Bye.
And I was looking at that planet, oh my god, on the right of that planet, it's a big old watcher's face. He's a shapeshifter, transformer. So yeah, in the first heavens, up into the troposphere, you know, Satan's gonna be thrown down. He might be thrown down already, because you're seeing some real nonsense going on with him. Look at that face. Or is that the face of Doug? Ha <laughs> ha!
strange now Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days Been calling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer
For those who made it to the end this far, thanks for coming. Thanks for viewing for 45 minutes. And uh, Doug, thanks for the footage. And uh, thank you for the crew here. My wife that supports me all the time. You like that song I wrote for Don? Check it out. Anyways, if you haven't seen the beginning of this video, you want to see the intro. It's awesome. That was CGI, that intro. That's my CGI. Okay? God bless. Be happy.